Hello everybody, it is Monday. Who am I, Michelle? That makes it Mondays with Michelle. Woo! And the hush falls over the crowd. I show you my band-aid, but it has Kermit on it. But if I did like this, it's that finger, so I don't want to be like, look at Kermit. <laughs> anyway, um, hey, yeah. So what am I talking about today? A couple things. A couple things. Um, you know, a wonderful thing about life is that you always keep learning. And last week I was talking, making a video, saying a word that I thought was a real word, and it's not a real word. I know. <sighs> Nutritionalist is not a real word. It's a nutritionist, so a nutritionist. So please, if you have any questions about your diet and how that works with your own body type, please see a nutritionist or a dietitian. I'm sure there's probably some difference between the two because otherwise they'd be called the same thing, but at least they're not a nutritionalist, okay? So forgive me, I'm human. Second thing I wanna talk about, um, masterclass in Monterey, California, In Shape Fitness with everybody in Northern California, NorCal, woo woo! Um, great, great classes. Myself and Chris Landeros, our training was awesome. Our participants were wonderful, fast learners, on the beat, ready to lift weights and sculpt their bodies and sculpt other people's bodies into wonderfulness. So thank you. I hope that you know those people who just got certified, spread the hot fusion love. It's a wonderful format. Honorita Sauce put her blood, sweat, and tears into it. And as you can see from when you went to the training with Chris and I, we did too. So thank you guys so much. Thanks again to May and to Cindy for uh, helping us out. And hello to everybody else who are out there, the other master trainer for the other format, uh, Hot Hula Fitness. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next point of discussion. Uh, upcoming events. The Zumba Cruise payment due date was the 17th of May. Today is the 20th. So if you didn't get on the Zumba Cruise, it ain't happening. But there will be others, so keep posted on that one. June 1st will still be the event with myself and Chris Landero at MX Fitness or Spring into Fitness for um Spring into Fitness event. And that will be June 1st at District 36. It is from 4 to 7. Yeah. So the the link is on the Get to Work website. So that's gonna be under special events. There's another special secret event that's going to be posted either today or tomorrow that's pretty awesome oh my god i'm gonna cry yeah anyway so that involves some people in a another city and a casino and me and some other people who are very special so stay tuned for that just make sure you go back and look at the special events on the Get to Work website. Um, last thing I want to say is some, a lesson that I learned this weekend. Um, shoes. It's something that I say to students, members, participants all the time. Um, shoes have a shelf life on your feet or shoes have a, a use by, use on date, don't use after date kind of thing going on. If you think about how much you walk in your tennis shoes, I'm talking about fitness shoes, you're gonna have your casual tennis shoes, you put on with your like your favorite little jumper for the weekend and go to the mall, that's one type of shoe. I'm talking about the shoes you use for fitness. Now, I am not a shoe specialist. I'm just gonna tell you what works for me. Like I say, everything is always about me. Not about me, but my experience. Let me say it like that. That's better, yeah. Um, shoes, depending on how much you're exercising, running, jumping, in these shoes, usually two to three months is gonna be the life of that shoe. The last or the soul of the shoe is gonna change. And if you start experiencing pain in your shins, pain in your knees, maybe even pain in your hip, you're thinking you're doing something wrong. You may have tweaked something definitely, but sometimes it's just as simple as getting a new pair of shoes. So that's very important. And you also wanna consider the surface that you're exercising on. If you're at a gym, you're gonna be on a hardwood floor or prepared for that is for that particular purpose. If you're on concrete running, 
jumping, you're doing boot camp classes on concrete, that's going to jar your joints. So think about that when you go buy shoes. If you have any questions, most of the major retail outlets uh, have people there who are going to help you. If you have any real issues with your foot or need orthotics or something like that, you want to go to a shoe store that's going to have those people who are going to be specialists. Maybe even a running store where they can look at your foot and see how it pronates or over pronates, under pronates, or if it's flat, turns. You know, some of you guys have issues. I know I do. My feet go in. They roll in when I walk. So I have to wear certain shoes. Like I have certain brands that really work for me and certain brands I can't wear because they're too narrow for my foot. So you got to play with that. So don't, don't think you're going to stop giving up your working or your walk or your run because your knees hurt, legs hurt, hip hurt. It may be as simple as the shoe. So um, I'll look for a couple articles and I'll link that to the YouTube for tonight. Um, basically, that's it. I'm about to go do Zumba. I'm here at Holman, 3320 West Adams Boulevard. We're here every Monday, 7.30 p.m. doing Zumba with these wonderful people here in Whitehall on the premises of Holman United Methodist Church in Los Angeles. Zumba every night here on Monday that we're here is $8 and we get it in, have a bunch of fun, great group of people great spirit is always uplifting always getting special great testimonies and updates on people's fitness so i'm so appreciative i'm always so grateful to be a part of you know your fitness journey i share my fitness journey with you you know it's just awesome so guys continue to keep putting comments um i'm going to be working on the chair fitness um routine or two that I can add on or even do here at home and so I can go give you guys something else to do at home because I'm really concerned about community wellness and fitness and things you can do in the community that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to the gym and that's gonna be a whole nother series that we start working on in June so stay tuned as always thank you get to work I gotta go get to work thanks for rolling with your girl toodles bye